don't think that education is the only key to success because there's other things. My name is Donna Lidanio, and I'm from Bialong Kichi Municipality, and I'm the current uh, directing attorney for Micronesian Legal Services Corporation here in Bone Bay. Our job is helping community members, ensuring they have access to justice, and we only deal or help people with their civil claims. Uh, we don't do criminal cases. We don't charge. We're the only free law office here in Bone Bay. Thank you all for making legal services continue to be operational for more than 50 years now. I grew up here in Colonia, but spent much significant amount of my time as a child uh, in Kichi. Everything I learned, every engagement events, they attended with family and friends is really from Kiju. So I have two sisters and three brothers. Um, they're just as successful, more, um, if not more successful than I am. My younger sister is, you know, a full-time employee at the College of Micronesia. She received her um, PhD in math but still a uh, owner of a retail store. Uh, my other sister, same thing, a full-time teacher at Colonia School and also has her own business, a local market. You know, their stories are more interesting than mine and they should be here. Uh, they were a great influence on <clears throat> my life growing up. Uh, our parents are still alive in their 70s and healthy. My father is a member of the Bombay State Legislature, Senator Daniel. And my mom was a secretary for the Bombay Supreme Court since, you know, the TT era until she recently retired about three, four years ago. And she's still healthy and we are blessed to still have them alive and well. I'm married uh, to Billy Sayola. We have seven children all together. I'm a proud mom of three and four stepchildren. Um, these are the people that influence my life and really shape who I am today. So I'm very grateful to their presence and influence in my life. I attended public school all my life. I went to Colonia Elementary School, uh, graduated from Picks High School, and uh, achieved my Associate of Arts degree from College of Micronesia in Liberal Arts. Of course, my law degree I received from the University of South Pacific. It was clear the path for me, which is the educational path. I didn't expect to wind up being a lawyer, uh, but I know this is the route for me. Uh, yes, my family has truly been my inspiration, the values, the belief system that my parents instill in me and seeing the, the success of my siblings really are my inspiration and motivation and of course my children um, you know changed my life they brought meaning and purpose it's never about me anymore when I had them when they came into my life it was their world that matter and nothing else matter I think I may be highlighting the good uh, experiences that I endured because I believe that 
good things outweigh the bad in everyone's lives. But make no mistake, there's so many challenges and obstacles that I had to face uh, before reaching um, this, you know, opportunity in my life. So for women out there, there will be struggle and you just have to persevere, you just have to persist and keep your mind set on the end goal that you wanna reach. The fact that I grew up in an environment uh, or a community where the roles are distinguished uh, between men and women, uh, for me, I was lucky enough because education the educational bath does not discriminate. Women are allowed to be there, but sometimes for me, it's just the lack of confidence, the low self-esteem, and not feeling like I belong. I remember when I got the directorship uh, position at Micronesian Legal Services, uh, it was really my husband who inspired me and, you know, influenced me to take it because I don't believe in myself. I don't think I can do the job. So he has more faith than myself. And I remember family and friends would congratulate me on the position. And I would say, wait a year to see if I, you know, after a year, if I'm still here, then I'm wor congratulations are in order. For young girl, young girls coming up wanting to find your uh, truth uh, in this life, I think you just have to believe in yourself, that you belong, that uh, you can do anything you aspire to do, and just believe in yourself. You're just worthy as anybody else. In a, in a room. I took the educational route to, to be where I am, to reach my goal. You could take any other path. It doesn't have to be the uh, this route that I chose. You could be uh, an entrepreneur. You could find a product that the community likes and you can maximize that and monetize that to support you. It could be anything.